So now that we've discussed the factors that increase the chance of uh, developing cardiovascular disease, let's just quickly review um, which elements reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Now, uh, some of these are going to be related, related to what we've just discussed. Uh, it's important to note that there are kind of two things here. One is the lifestyle element, so the choices that you can make, and the other one is kind of drug treatment, okay? So uh, kind of um, chemical means of reducing the risk, okay? So, okay, so lifestyle would be stop smoking. Now, for some of these, I'm not going to go into the detail of explaining why this would be a good thing in terms of reducing the risk. It's going to be self-explanatory if you've looked at the uh, part that explained how these factors cause cardiovascular disease. Okay, so stop smoking, uh, reduce things that increase your blood pressure, i.e. reduce your blood pressure, stress, um, obesity, try and get those in control, and, uh, and, and as a result, the blood pressure should go down, okay? Um, control the diet so that the blood cholesterol goes down, uh, maintain a normal body mass index, or waist hip ratio exercise regularly exercise regularly um, remember to balance to balance energy input and use all right and limit alcohol intake. Now, just a quick exam tip. When you are talking about these factors, be clear about what it is about that factor that you're saying. So, in terms of lifestyle choices, if you just put smoking down on its own, that don't, I don't think that that's descriptive enough. So it depends on what you're trying to say. So should someone reduce the amount of smoking? Um, is it a risk because someone is smoking? For an, an exercise is a good example. Exercise on its own is not a factor in either direction. But too much, uh, sorry, too little or not enough exercise, that is a risk factor. Okay, and then... In, in terms of reducing risk, you might want to suggest that someone increase the amount of exercise that they do. So just be careful about how you're describing these things. Don't be ambiguous. Be very clear. Okay, so let's now move on and talk about the drug treatments for uh, reduce. Oh, one other thing is antioxidants. Antioxidants... If you increase your intake of antioxidants, it will reduce the risk of damage to arteries and so on. Okay, so so that's lifestyle. Now let's talk about the drug treatments. And what we'll do is just mention the drug and just say how, just a few notes on how it works. Okay. So antihypertensives, they reduce blood pressure. I mean, this can be figured out. Um, it doesn't have to be something that you're separately having to study and, and, and remember. They reduce blood pressure, and from that point on, it should be self-explanatory. They reduce blood pressure, therefore they reduce damage to endothelium 
and therefore reduce risk of atheroma or blood clot. Okay, so that should be pretty straightforward. Let's move on. Cholesterol lowering drugs. So, cholesterol lowering drugs, so that this these should reduce the circulating LDL levels, or you can even say simply they reduce circulating cholesterol in the blood, and because of that, uh, there's less um, less absorbed less absorbed by by the white blood cells and because there's less absorbed by white blood cells it reduces the atheroma reduces atheroma formation okay and this should reduce atherosclerosis very straightforward once you know so this this kind of kind of shows you that if you invest your efforts you know in, in the main parts like of the of a topic in the beginning you know the rest of it is just going to be building on top of what you already know it makes it much easier okay platelet inhibiting drugs so they prevent prevent activation of platelets and this inhibits inhibits the blood clotting process and reduces risk of arteries being blocked okay Right, that, so that's that, really. Um, I would just add here in the lifestyle section, uh, dietary things that you can do, like reduce the salt intake for the reasons that we've already discussed. Um, yeah. Yeah.